everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make some kawaii waffle charms using polymer clay. I'll also be showing you how to create six different types of toppings for the waffles, so let's get started. To begin, I am making a mold to create the waffles, and this will also help me to keep the size and shape looking consistent. Here I have some scrap polymer clay, which I'm rolling down with my clay rolling pin, and then I'm using the handle of one of my blades to create a bit of a crisscross pattern. I'm using the handle of my blade rather than the blade itself, just because it is a little bit thicker. I then gently rolled my rolling pin back over the clay so that the squares were flat and not puffy. Finally, I trimmed it to size so that I had a three by three design. And then I went ahead and baked this in my oven according to my package's instructions. Moving on to the actual waffles. Now I have taken my vanilla colored polymer clay and I am rolling this clay down on my work surface into a sheet. To prevent the polymer clay from sticking to my little handmade mold, I am using some cornstarch and just rubbing this over both the clay and the mold. I pressed my waffle mold into the vanilla colored clay, nice and hard, kind of like a stamp. And then I just pushed in the sides a little so that it wasn't too misshapen. Using my blade, I then carefully trimmed off the excess clay and also removed the waffle mold to reveal the design in the clay. So to give the waffle a nice golden color, I am taking my mixture of brown chalk pastel powder and also a fluffy paintbrush. I simply dipped my paintbrush into the powder and then I dusted this all over the clay to give the waffle a nice baked golden color. I also made sure to do the back and the sides as well. Now moving on to the kawaii face, I firstly added two indents where I wanted the eyes to go and then I added in two balls of dark brown clay. I attached on a small U shape of brown polymer clay in the center for the mouth and then finally added some cheeks by dusting on some pink chalk pastel powder. At this point, I also went ahead and added an eye pin in the top so that I could make it into a charm. So you'll then just want to go ahead and repeat these steps over and over until you have as many waffles as you like. So that's what I'm doing here. So here are all my little waffle charms ready to go. Optionally, before you add your toppings, you could also go ahead and bake them in the oven so that they are a little easier to handle. Up first is design one, which includes some syrup and butter. So I'm firstly going to create the syrup using some Fimo liquid deco gel, which is a very transparent liquid clay. I poured a small amount on a small sheet of paper, and then I'm scraping in and mixing in some brown chalk pastels to create the color that I want. For the piece of butter, I'm mixing together some yellow polymer clay with some translucent polymer clay, just so that the piece of butter isn't fully opaque. I then rolled this clay down on my work surface, and then here I am using my blade to trim off the sides and create a small square. Now to add the decorations or toppings onto the waffle, I started off by adding a small amount of the syrup and then I placed the butter on top of that. And then I am finally dripping some more of the syrup over top of the butter and running it down the sides. So this is what the charm looks like. It's now ready to go ahead and bake in the oven. Waffle design number two features banana and peanut butter. 
this time I am starting off with some Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay, which I'm going to be using to create the peanut butter. I'm using this particular liquid clay because it has a nice thick consistency. So I poured some on a sheet of baking paper and then I am mixing in a small ball of peanut butter colored polymer clay until the clay and the liquid clay have completely mixed. For the bananas on my charm, I am taking some banana cane slices, which I purchased online, and I'm using my blade to trim off two small slices. Finally, for the peanut details, I'm going to be using these pre-baked pieces of polymer clay, which I often use on my other charms for some sand. Now to put everything together, I am firstly scooping on the peanut butter mixture up in the top corner, and then using a pair of tweezers, I am very carefully placing down the banana slicings, and then to top it all off, I'm adding the little pieces of clay for peanuts. At this point, I was happy with how my charm was looking, so it's time to go ahead and bake it in my oven. Moving on to design number three, this one features some berries and cream for the toppings. I'm beginning by creating the cream in a very similar way to the peanut butter, and that is mixing some Scolby Bacon Bond liquid clay with a ball of white polymer clay this time. I then scooped this mixture strategically in the corner of my waffle so that it looked nice and drippy. Now moving on to creating the blueberries, take some dark blue polymer clay and roll this into a long coil on your work surface. And then you can take your blade and trim off some even sized sections before then rolling these into small balls between your fingers. I then added a small indent in the top of each blueberry and placed them in the cream. To create the strawberry pieces, I'm taking some strawberry cane slices, which again I bought online, and I'm just chopping them up into little pieces, which then I'm also adding into the cream. If you don't have any strawberry cane slices, you could also chop up some regular red polymer clay instead. It was then time to bake this charm in the oven. Design number four is like a little bit of a party inspired almost birthday cake flavor. So here I am mixing some Scolby Bacon Bond with a ball of light pink clay on a piece of paper. I'm then scooping this icing or frosting mixture onto my waffle and you can see that I'm trying to make like a little zigzag drizzle pattern. For the rainbow sprinkles, I'm using some pre-baked pieces of rainbow colored clay and just spreading a small amount over the icing. It was then time to bake this waffle charm in my oven. Design number five is also quite a simple one. It is a scoop of ice cream with some chocolate sauce. I'm beginning by creating the chocolate sauce by mixing some Sculpey Bacon Bond liquid clay with a ball of dark brown polymer clay. I did find that my mixture wasn't dark enough for my liking, so I also scraped in some dark brown and black chalk pastel shavings until I got the color that I wanted. I then added the chocolate drizzle to the top corner of my waffle design. I'm not entirely sure what happened with the footage of me creating the little polymer clay ice cream scoop, but here I am adding it to the charm and then it's time to bake it in the oven. My final waffle design is a nice loaded one with lots of different toppings. I'm beginning by adding some chocolate sauce to the top corner of my waffle. And this is the same chocolate sauce that I used from my previous design. It's just the leftover, so I am using that. To create the swirl of whipped cream, here I am rolling out some white polymer clay on my work surface into a nice long coil. And then using my acrylic clay roller, I am pressing this down slightly and then trimming off the ends and the sides so that the piece of clay is nice and square.
Once that was done, I then twisted the clay and it gives it this really nice swirly frosting effect. I shaped a small section of that clay into a circle and then here I am adding it into the chocolate sauce with also a red ball of polymer clay for a cherry. The sprinkles I'm adding to this waffle are the same pre-baked colored pieces of clay that you saw me using earlier on. Although this time I am using my needle tool to pick out the colors and place the sprinkles on a little bit more strategically. And then here is my charm ready to be baked in the oven. So after my waffle charms had all been baked, I then took some super glue and I used it to secure the eye pins in. I also used some UV resin to brush over the toppings like the syrups, just to make them look a little shiny and more realistic. So here are what the finished kawaii waffle charms look like once they are all done. I think they look really cute together in a little set and they're lots of fun to make because you can really add whatever kind of toppings that you like. So if you enjoyed this polymer clay tutorial, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys.